So now we're back at the office and uh, we're going to have some look at the data we just collected. So when you uh, registrate as a user on Roadroid, uh, you'll get a user account uh, where your data is collected to. Um, the main features after logging in um, is uh, to view uh, the service all over on the map, but also the main entrance would be the import history. So this is the, uh, the service we just collected. You remembered maybe that we named some of the files test. And this is a list of all of the surveys made for a period. And what you do is you click on, on file details here. Uh, under file details, you will see the information of the specific survey you, you made. And there's uh, some information about the survey file itself. You can rename it. So if you wanna, you missed something in field, you wanna complete it till you you made a misspelling. You can change the uh, the name you put in the the start of the survey. There's an import history ID, uh, some user details, the app version, and the number of photos taken during this specific survey, and then some sensitivity settings. Uh, the way you set up sense uh, the system to be sensitive uh, in the calibration work. There's also a possibility to make um, ag aggregation of the survey file in suitable elements uh, all the way from 5 meters up to 200 meters. We'll have a look at that later. Um, of interest would be to see the specific survey. In this case we were starting here doing the survey all the way to the end there. Um, and what does the little dots mean? Uh, it, that's the uh, the survey information for each second made. So there's a loop of one second points here. So at each of these points, there's a new survey made. Um, and that's the result from about 200 samples, 200 hertz per second. So we read, read the vibration um, vibrations from the accelerometer every second, make a result and put the coordinate on, on, that, um, on that reading. So you can here uh, see where you have black or red spots, you, you have also some, some problems in the surface. And this is the IRI value on each point. So each individual point has a, a specific uh, specific value. And then you have also survey summary here for this uh, specific survey. You have a total number of points, 63 seconds, 63 readings during this length of 778 meters. So you have an average IRI value, but you also have a summary of all of the points collected. Expressed in percentage, you can say that this road was uh, 88.9 uh, in good condition but you also had two black points and that would represent 3.2% of poor points. So again, this is the, the survey made and this is the summary of it. That's one way to look and get a quick view of, of how the, the survey was made and the output from it. Break. So back to the import history list. Uh, we go in through the survey details for a specific file. Uh, we've seen the photos and we've seen the result printed on the map. So what you can do from here, you saw the survey file, it was 778 meters. So if we want to split that into 10 meter segments, we can do something like generate an aggregate file. So what you get there is a text file with all of the survey details, which you can paste in Excel. Uh, we remove some of the information that's not so important to have in this example. Uh, what I wanted to show you is the possibility to quickly and easily make a chart, oh, sorry, 
där får vi ta om. Våra var det du tar om där från bara. Um, so what I want to do is um, vänta, vi ska byta mm. för att det har blivit vad heter det? det är importerat som det, punkter. Men vi måste byta till kommatecken. Det är någon sån där regional setting när man byter till engelska. Mm. På språket så ja, följer det där med. <clears throat> so, uh, after copying this into Excel, you have the possibility to uh, plot the graph. Simply of the survey. So this is the, the lengthwise. We could also use this feature to, to use the length calculation from the data. So here you have a chart of the the survey. You can see which parts is, is more rough than the others, starting with zero and counting up to 778 meters for the estimated IRI. You have the road ID for each point. Um, you have the altitude, the speed, and the X and Y coordinates for each um, each point, or each in this case it's each 10 meter segment. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. So, except from uh, showing still images and and photos, uh, you have the possibility to capture a video fi film on the road. Um, if you do that and you mark the video layer, you can choose between photos or video. If you mark the video layer, um, we'll unmark the photos. You have the possibility to open a video file and make a playback of that. So what you see here in the map marker is where the, the film is taken. So it moves all along when you play it back. You see where you are and from where the video shots it's taken. Uh, there's some different option of changing the speed of the video to a bit faster or slower. You can also maximize the, uh, the video image and supposedly you, you work on two, two monitors here to being able to do the uh, rating and visual impressions on one screen and uh, looking on the video in full screen on the other. Yes. So uh, this is an example of from the survey we just made. You have the, the roughness points as green here. You have one red spot, the speed bump in this case, and you have the photos aligned. So what you can do is you click the photo and you'll also get a, an image of the actual location. The resolution and the camera, of course, is depending on, on the light conditions and the, the type of phone used, but normally you get a very good image of the road uh, with a modern smartphone. Uh, also to this <clears throat> to these images um, there's a possibility to zoom you can zoom save it down or you can e also do some um, inventory from it uh, you can do uh, add an inventory parameter like for instance uh, you want to make an inspection of uh, paved roads and uh, cracking so this would add a possibility to step through the photos and rate. Of course, here's a very good pavement with no cracks. Next photo is still very good. Next photo, you might see some crack and you might say it's only good or fair condition. Uh, the main idea is that you, you toggle, you step through the photos and do the inventory telling uh, the state of the road for a certain parameter. Uh, you save it back to the system and it's important as an inventory file 